All right, what up guys? Plock the Master Gamer here. We're back at it with some Fable Anniversary. And this is, of course, my achievement playthrough series where I'm going to be attempting to get every single achievement uh, that I at least haven't already gotten in this game. And in the last video, we just did a whole bunch of money making and stuff. And I'm just kind of perusing through these real quick, making sure there's nothing like super easy that can be done. Yeah, we're doing, we're doing all right so far. Again, there's not like too much we can do yet. A lot of these are like the more difficult ones, but there's still definitely some shit to be done. Um, one of them actually is pretty easy considering. So if, if anybody's, if you've ever done the, or I guess if you haven't done the uh, the book collection quest, the, the quest where you have to donate books to the school, pretty much every single book except for one book that you need can be found in the guild library. And I don't remember exactly where you find the other book. I think there's like a couple places you can get the other book but nine out of ten of them you can get right here so that's pretty clutch for that specific achievement oakvale shop bowerstone north shop stolen from a house in oakvale so yeah that's the only oh and then mazes quarters for jack of blades that's right i stand corrected there is there is one that is still in the guild but not in the guild library so it's kind of funny how like the good one requires you to steal a bunch of books no I think that was Jack. Oh, that's Jack of Blades. There we go. Might as well make sure I get them all right. Um, other thing, too. We are going to need the assassin outfit. So, do a master long sword and a master longbow. That should hold us off for a while. Oh, actually, yeah, real quick. Just got to get that lantern thing because. Oh, that's right. What is it? Tab? Is that what does it? Is it I? What's the button that opens your inventory? What the, what's the one? You know what I mean? F. That's the fucking F. God damn. It took me so long. The first time I was like, uh, how do I do this? Like, it really did. It took me so, so fucking long to figure out who, how the fuck I just get to my inventory screen. Like, F? F was the key that you chose for that? F. You chose fucking F instead of escape or tab. Like, what the fu- Every single game that has ever existed on this planet, not a single game has ever been like, you know, F would be the perfect screen for, like, all of your equipment and your inventory. Like, no, nobody has ever done that because it is fucking retarded. It already is online. How did that happen? That's actually kind of amazing. You don't have to put it on your hot- your hot bar or whatever. It's just automatically there. Because that's one thing that you had to do in Fable Lost Chapters. You had to actually equip your lantern yourself. I know, right? Such work, such effort. Your path is illuminating. Yeah, fancy that, right? Wait. Library Arcanum. Oh my god, it's this place. This is Library Arcanum. Holy fuck, I don't even have to go to Oakvale. That's hilarious. I'm a fucking idiot, first of all. We can just go fucking straight to Bowerstone. That's nice. Don't have to do shit. Oh, it's really not even going to let me fucking teleport from here. That's great. It won't even let me teleport to the guild. Man, that's fucking- I have to- I have to run all the way across the guild just to leave the guild. Like, oh my god, duh. I really wanted to teleport, but it would not let me. You have to earn the middle, ex middle finger expression, don't you? I think you do. By being moderately evil. So it looks like we're going to have to be a little evil, guys. I'll tell you what, though. That definitely beats opening every single fucking demon door. Not that it's, like, particularly difficult to open all the demon doors or anything, but, like, I really don't want to fucking have to commit to opening every single fucking one of them. Although I didn't realize there was only 12 of them. That's, like, not that bad. Alright, so the cool thing is, I'm pretty sure there's two achievements I can get here real quick. Uh, the first one is to get a beard, a haircut, and a tattoo, which I don't actually know if there's a tattoo partly here, sure to be completely honest. Disappear. I don't think there is. So that one might actually be different, but... What was I doing? Let's do chainmail, plate chest. All right, and then yeah, the other thing I needed, I guess just a fucking, like a haircut and stuff. What I feel like, what I feel like there is supposed to be a tattoo parlor and I'm just like not seeing it. It sucks though, there's no tattoo, tattoo artists here. So I guess uh, it'll only be a one achievement type of deal then, huh? Not that it's can you hey. 
today's lesson. Educate the nation? Ooh. Wait, it doesn't want me to actually do every single book, does it? Oh, they want me to do every single book, huh? Not just one. Oh, I'm not even going to be able to get this achievement then, huh? This is literally going to make me do all 25 books. Well, that's unfortunate. I was kind of thinking maybe I'd be able to bust out like at least one achievement, but it's not exactly looking like it. Wait, nine? Any could you spare the Do any of you know the higher up I wanna go home any books the for higher us today, hero? of weapons? Hmm. The hierarchy of weapons. Yeah, it is gonna make me do all of them. That kinda sucks. I thought it would be just like the one and done feature, but it's not. Well in that case, I guess we can go for a little bit of a jog then and maybe uh get a tattoo. From a traveling tattoo artist or something. I don't know. Fuck. Well, if how this like achievement run through is just like totally not going too well. The uh, the health is low one should be pretty easy. Once I do the escort quest, I'll try to have a a heal life spell. And then there's also like the I don't know, what do you call it? Like not turncoat, but the other one that like takes over people's minds. At least a couple of them are pretty simple, and they're just like, oh, cast this fucking spell essentially. Look at you. Is that like a Pikachu but different? It's funny, I was like tempted to pull out my bow there for a second. Like, oh, I gotta pull out the bow. No, not quite. No bow. I hope you got the gold they want. These bandits will kill us for fun. Huh, <laughs> the fucking arrow is stuck in midair. I don't know how that worked out, but. Wow. This is not a one-hit kill? How? Man, they're really putting on the chase, too. Look at that. I wonder if they'll still be there, like, the next time I come through this area. Like, I don't really know exactly how that works. Oh, shit. The traitors are traitors now. Hmm. Well, I might as well get more of these, huh? Come on. <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's like the worst way you can go. There it is, the ultimate war. We got an achievement, guys. Look at that. We did it. We got an actual achievement. Holy fuck. It's at the bottom of the screen, too. It means we actually did it. So now, actually... We already made it to Greatwood, right? Yeah, okay. I yeah, know. We might as well... We might as well complete the whole journey. And you never know. I might find, like, a hairstylist along the way. Oh, you know what I just realized? That's just a head tattoo. Talon Clan. Uh oh. Hey, leave him alone, man. Oh, there's some fucking beefy fuckers, too. Holy shit, guys. Do we really need to be throwing fireballs over this way? It's pretty fucked, man. No assassinry, huh? Wonder if I could even make it to him fast enough. Jeez, guy, figure your shit the you fuck sure out, man. You? Here we go. We'll do that. Oh, here we go. That's even better. Hey, I did it again. The beauty or the beast. That was the other one I was trying to do. So that's nice. That means I don't have to go to Bowerstone for that one. So that's cool. I actually, I actually managed to get a couple Chivos. Holy fucking shit, dude. A lot of people have gotten those. 
33 percent of players have gotten beauty or the beast that's kind of a lot and then 26.8 percent of people have treated themselves to a beard haircut and a tattoo so yeah interesting also if i understand correctly this is not open until a little bit later although now that has me wondering if you can get in early you know Ooh, you know what i just realized though Oh yeah. You come to the right place. Oh, oh yeah. Oh god, I'm about to break the fuck out of this game, guys. Oh dude, I'm about to fucking absolutely decimate this fucking game real quick. Let's see how much regret I can fill myself with. Okay, that was a Honest reaction on the game's behalf. Here we go. Damn! <laughs> that's how you make money, bruh. That's, uh, that's how you make the money. God damn. Bada binga, bada boomba. I wonder, like, how bad my game is about to be fucked up now that I've done that. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, we're making, like, over a million per flip. That's pretty good. These, these are rates that I have not seen before. Oh, wow, those guys just, like, spontaneously materialized. I don't know why I like to do this, but I do. I like to just kind of, kind of bang out Oakvale as fast as I can. I have to say, though, like, one thing that I do appreciate about Fable Anniversary over Fable Lost Chapters is that you can make just absolute metric fuck tons of money, like, doing the exact thing that I just did. Like, the, the you can still do the normal, like, trade exploit where you just trade back and forth, right? But, like, you know, being able to, like, you know, glitch out back and forth until you have, like, 2,000 fucking emeralds and shit, like, that's... That is a pretty useful fucking thing. Being able to literally, like, duplicate items, essentially. I mean, you can't duplicate items or anything in the same way that you could in the in the first game, obviously. In the in the Lost Chapters or whatever. Like, you can't do the hero save glitch. But uh, the, whole, the whole shop duplication thing is pretty fucking useful. I can't quite remember what the shop trader here sells. The shop trader? The shop shopkeeper here sells? Uh, it might just be emeralds, so I might just be wasting my time. But I think, I want to say he has, like, sapphires and rubies, too. The only thing is that it actually spends your money on the items. So, like, you can't really fix that. But, you know, once once you got him, you got him. Look at this shit, brother. It's hard to beat that one. So I think what I should be able to do is go like this, go boom, boom, and then buy that many of them. Mad profit. Aw, oh, is that the max? Come on, man. Don't max out my gold like that. Nobody likes a gold maxing game. Alright, that's a pretty good, uh... That's a pretty good fucking start to the game. Dude, look at that fucking teleport guild seal fucking effect. That was the corniest looking shit. How did I never notice how fucking dumb that looks? Holy shit. What are we doing, uh, oh, you know, it's decent. Definitely not as good as I thought it would end up being, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a thing. So, what do we do? So, we'll just do Guile. And then, uh... Yeah, poor Guile. Never stood a chance. Never stood a chance. Well, anyways, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content for that matter. And then, of course, for as little as 99 cents a month, you can also help support me monetarily. You know, maybe help me pay some bills or whatever. But yeah, with that being said, this has been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable 
Anniversary, not Fable of the Lost Chapters, Fable Anniversary, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.